Hello everyone, this is Teresa with Homeschool Primer. And again, we are completing an experiment for general science. It is Apologia General Science, and this is experiment 1.2. This is um, chemical reaction, and we're gonna determine what happens when you mix specific substances together. These are the materials you're gonna need for the experiment. Paper towel, little bit of water, a plate, three tarnished pennies, um, preferably the pennies that are between 1962 and 1982. According to the book, they work the best. You also need a knife, um, a dropper, and salt, and, the, and one teaspoon of salt, so we have the teaspoon there. Um, they suggested using a lemon. We didn't have one on hand. We have a lime that is actually starting to rot, so we decided we're gonna give it a try and just use use it up. All right, let's get started. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're gonna begin our experiment 1.2 uh, for Apologia General Science Chemical Reaction. And go ahead, Jacob, and cut. Using the knife, you're gonna cut a few small slits through the lime very carefully. You're gonna just uh, cut all the way through the peel, but not too far into the lime. And just do three slits so we can slide our pennies in. And if you need help, just let me know. You know watch them fingers. Okay. And go ahead and slide your pennies. The pennies are gonna go, you're gonna insert them about halfway so that the penny is kind of exposed to the juice. There you go. Awesome. And then the pennies are just gonna sit for 10 minutes like this in the lime. Let me get closer so I can show you. Kind of looks like Darth Maul. Our pennies have been sitting inside of the lime or halfway inside the lime for about 10 minutes. And Jacob, if you'll remove the pennies, go ahead and remove the pennies and just dry. We want you to basically dry them with, with the paper towel. Dry them off with the paper towel. And then let's note how their appearance is, is different or if it's the same. Let me see, I don't know that you can see that as well. You could look, let's get in some better light here. Okay, you can kind of see there the difference in color where they were inside of the lime and then the part that was outside, it looks like the the, the brilliant copper color comes back out on these tarnished pennies. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rinse the pennies and then we'll um, come back to complete the second part of the experiment with the salt. Okay, we have rinsed our pennies and now we're placing them on the plate and we're gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of salt on top of each of the pennies. Go ahead, Jacob, sprinkle a little bit of salt on each of the pennies. And then with the eyedropper, we're gonna add a few drops of water to just cover each penny. Oh, you can put more salt, honey. I mean, that's, you can put more on each one. There we go. All right, now let's drop, put some Just a few drops on each one. Okay. All right, we're gonna allow these pennies to just sit for a few minutes, and then what we're gonna do is we're, then we're gonna blot them with a paper towel so that the pennies um, are basically exposed to the air and let them sit overnight. And then we're gonna come back and observe how they look tomorrow after sitting overnight um, exposed to the air. And uh, we'll record that in our notebook. 
Okay, now we have, um, our pennies have been sitting out with the salt and the water drops on top for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, the instructions tell us now to basically blot the pennies with the paper towel. So Jacob, if you'll blot the, the pennies with the paper towel, and now we're gonna expose the pennies to air, and we're gonna do that overnight. So we'll be coming back to observe the colors tomorrow and record exactly what these pennies look like tomorrow morning. You wanna blot just a little bit more? Did you get the water kind of off of there? Okay, I'll just do the next one and the next one and then I think we're good. And we'll come back in about 24 hours to see how it looks. All right, we're back. Um, it's been 24 hours and the pennies have been sitting in the air with a little bit of salt on them. And we're gonna take a look, we're gonna rub the salt off with, um, we're just gonna use a uh, cloth, a wet paper towel, and we're gonna wipe off the pennies and we're just gonna observe the colors at this point. And you wanna record these in your, in your uh, science notebook, your general science notebook for the experiment 1.2. And let's see, can you hold it up close over here, honey? Right here. Okay. And you wanna turn it around? Look at the back. Okay, and what do you observe as far as the color? Looks tarnished again. Okay. I see a little bit where it was, um, what was it from the copper yesterday when we put it in the lime? It's still a little bit lighter in color, like more copper color, but then I do see that it's becoming a little more tarnished. So for your experiment, in the first part of the experiment, we had the bright copper color um, appeared after we had them in the lines. And then today it looks like after sitting, you know, after having salt and water and a little bit of air, that they're starting to tarnish again. So if you'll record those results in your book, um, those are the two chemical reactions that we were able to see. Thanks for joining us.